Hello everyone, Bridget Ayer here with All About the Grace and on this channel I talk about faith, culture, and media awareness. And uh, if you're wondering why I have all these books on my desk, I actually have a brand new book if you haven't heard. It's called Breaking New Ground, Discipleship Using New Media. And really the book is about how to use digital media to evangelize. And you don't have to have any tech, um, tech knowledge to read this book. But if you do have technology, it still should be relevant because really it's about evangelization. And actually I signed all these books because many of you know I work for Catholic Radio Indy and I host a show called Faith in Action. And uh, that station, it's catholicradioindy.org if you'd like to know. And I'll put the, I'll put the uh, webpage below of Catholic Radio Indy. But uh, Catholic Radio Indy is a listener-supported radio station here in the Indianapolis metro area and we do have a share -a coming up and my book is going to be the giveaway so they're actually going to be signed copies I've signed 80 copies we might need more than that but um, it only took me it didn't take me that long to do that but that's why I have all these books okay well our topic today is going to be spiritual decluttering I if anybody, um, anybody who knows me knows I absolutely despise clutter. But what is spiritual clutter? Well, that's a good question. And there's probably a lot of different answers to that question, but I'm going to give you three areas of spiritual declutter and how you can get rid of spiritual declutter. We're actually, um, we're actually running, coming into Lent. I'm, I'm recording this before Lent. But this is, and, and really Lent is a time too spiritual, to do spiritual decluttering. But this is something you can do any time of the year. So, the first type of clutter. You know, when you have clutter in your house, like actual clutter, it's really easy to see it. You just, you see an area of your house, there's like a lot of clutter, there's a bunch of junk there. But what would be spiritual decluttering? Well, one area of spiritual decluttering is clearing out mental space, okay? And the two areas that I think take up a lot of mental space, one is worrying, and then the other is unrealistic expectations. And those two can kind of go together. If we can get rid of worry, and if we can get rid of unrealistic expectations, that will really help spiritually declutter our mind and heart so that we are open to God. Okay, so that's one area, mental space. So that would be worry or unrealistic expectations. Number two, another way to spiritually declutter is to look at time and more importantly, time wasters okay I could probably think of a hundred time wasters because I am notorious for um, wasting time okay we all are in this uh, digital age but the two areas that I think are the biggest areas of time wasters or time sucks as I call them social media definitely and entertainment in general I mean we are everything's on demand now so you can have social media 24 7 and you can have Netflix Hulu Disney Plus all these things are I'm getting looks from the other room <laughs> from some people who are binge watching <laughs> Shh. anyway so social media and entertainment again we can do these things 24 7 and you know, we've got on-demand entertainment and those are major time sucks. Okay, so that's another one. Spiritual decluttering by looking at our time and, and the things that really take us away from God, I guess. Okay, and then the third and the most obvious area of spiritual decluttering is sin. Okay, and sin can be, I kind of look at sin in two ways. Sin is can be the bad things that we're doing. That's one area of sin, okay? And then the other area of sin is the good things that we're not doing, so sin of omission. So 
sin has two categories, bad sins and then good things that we're not doing. So that'd be um, the sin of omission, the sin of not doing good. So those are the three areas that I'm going to try to declutter. I always, um, I go through different phases of decluttering just in my house, spring cleaning and all that kind of stuff. Spiritual decluttering is a really important thing to do every so often. And that if you're Catholic, what's great about being Catholic is that you've got two specific seasons, Lent and Advent, where we really want to kind of reflect on what we are doing and kind of taking a spiritual inventory of how we're doing. And those two seasons, Advent and Lent, really kind of give us that time to really kind of refocus our life on God. But for me, I'm going to be working on spiritually decluttering, um, clearing out my mental space, um, looking at how I'm spending my time, and then also decluttering my sin closet. So this is something for you to think about. Hopefully um, you've come up with a, a little uh, tidbit um, or idea of how you can spiritual de declutter. There are probably 500 million ways of, way of ways you can spiritually declutter, but these are just three that I thought might be helpful for you to kind of start spiritually decluttering. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe um, to this channel. It's all about the grace. You can just click the red subscribe button below if you haven't done that. If you're already a subscriber, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. God bless.